Hello everybody and welcome back to another Pixel Game Maker MV tutorial. I'm Nash Noob and we're gonna walk through this together. So what we're going to do today is a stamina bar and also stamina regeneration. Stamina bar you're gonna recognize a lot from the previous uh, tutorial for making a health bar because honestly most of it's pretty similar with how you do one you can do the other. With the stamina regeneration it's a little bit new but honestly it's like the easiest part so again from the similar part that we started with before um you want to make sure you understand already how to import resources and set up an animation so as of before, i'm using um the default testing one because i am reworking a bunch of my my tiles and my animations on my own little project so i it's just it's just a clusterfuck so <laughs> i'm using the default uh testing project that comes with the program that you can test in for the side scrollers all right so uh, like we usually do resources import resources we have health and stamina here um then we go to animations we want to make sure that we're making the animations and actually we're gonna add one extra one uh because i need to change a couple things here so that i'm actually doing stuff for you guys so let's add let's add this one here because that one's pretty full and this one's pretty empty so we're gonna make one here uh, and we're going to make it like this empty yeah that's nice noticeable oh maybe actually maybe a little bit further okay yeah so motion is done uh now we're going to go to objects so you can see i've already made a new object uh that is stamina save your project as often as you can now um you can see i've already done it and if you watch my last one then you can see how familiar this looks to you guys you want your main branch and you want to set it as takes over motion. I figured out why that matters actually. It matters because if you don't it takes over a motion, it like blinks in and out of existence as it's transferring to the different motions. Um, pretty much takes over a motion, holds on, a, this might not be quite right, but holds on to the previous uh, look to carry over until it gets to the next animation or picture I don't know I'm really bad at explaining stuff but it's I'll, I'll show you maybe at the end of the video what it looks like if I don't do that if I remember um, so what we're going to do is we are going to be setting our player and we made a couple new variables as well today and I made um, stamina and max stamina so max stamina we're gonna actually set to five now and then regular stamina we're also gonna set it for five because that's what we're starting off with Oops. And yeah, so that's pretty self-explanatory. We want it so that max stamina and stamina are on there. Now we'll go back to stamina again. We don't have to mess around with any variables with these ones. So we're gonna make a little bit of room. Wait, it was after, yeah, okay. So this one is going to be, we're gonna change it. So it's going to go into this one when the switcher variable is equal to... So I'm using a different thing last time. So last time I set it to an exact number, so a constant, I would be setting it to 5 in this case. But actually we're going to set a variable as condition that the player variable max stamina... Um, or sorry, stamina is equal to max stamina. Simple as that. Max stamina isn't going to change. We don't want to touch max stamina, but we want it to be our reference point. So it's going to be the condition of this stamina has to equal this max stamina. This variable equals this variable. Then we go and turn into this one. Uh, this one, we're going to actually change it to a different number. So switch variable. We This is where I am changing it to exact numbers. Um, so it's going to be four now. And then also it would change back when it is no longer four pretty self-explanatory so adding an action in there and 
just want to make a little bit more room. Fuck, that doesn't look nice. <laughs> it's not right. Um, you should really name your actions, but I didn't because I'm lazy. Seven, and this one is still making sure it's all good. This one should be two. Yeah. So now this one will be your new th three. So add link. When we're turning into this one, we want it to be player and stamina equal to three. So as you can, and also, that's the opposite. Mm. I have it setting for certain time passes on either one. It technically should be when it's going out, not when it's going in, which apparently I messed up on mm. one of these. Okay, anyways, uh, now we're gonna set a secondary link. Same idea. Oh, and then also too, we want to make sure it's change of all conditions are met. Uh, it doesn't really matter if there's one condition, but if you do, do other conditions. So all conditions, and they updated the program, so it works a little bit better now. So I can say after certain time passes of 0.1, I think I did it pretty quickly, and then I can check that one too and do these both at the same time. Because then this super cool thing happens where we're doing, we're doing going out, right? Okay, stamina no longer equals three. All right, and now both of them are on at the same time. So how cool is that? That was not a thing that we could do in the last update. So uh, thank you, Studio, for updating that. That's a good quality of life thing. I was gonna check something, but I don't remember anymore. Oh yes, I wanted to check and see what I set the uh, times out for these ones. They are, oh, 0.1. Okay, so everything's the same. So you can see um, in and out, that's a fine, that's the stamina. It's pretty simple. So when stamina changes, that will change. But how does stamina change? Well, that's when we want to actually go into your player. I'm gonna be super honest here. I do have some limiting factors on this because I don't have um, a full understanding of the complete clusterfuck that is this one so there is one feature that i haven't been able to get to work with this um which i'll explain once we get to it but what we're go going to do is we're going to make it so jump and dash both go and cost a stamina to use so you go to jump and on runtime action so not a link but on the runtime action you're gonna want to make it so that it changes stamina minus one and then we also did it for dash as well so same thing on the runtime action for when dashing is happening minus one I haven't got the limiter to work yet um, ideally what should be happening is when you are becoming like going into a dash I am trying to make it so that if it is less than zero stamina is greater than zero that's what that is isn't it okay we'll see if that works maybe I just had those wrong <laughs> um, if it is the wrong if it's if you don't have enough stamina then you can't dash pretty simple um, but I haven't gotten that one to work. Um, that ideally should be all that's needed because it's um, change if all conditions are met. So input related conditions. So this one is just like how many dashes you do because there's a whatever. Um, but this one changing if your stamina, your stamina has to be, no wait, your stamina would have to be greater than zero. Yeah, I don't have that backwards. I'm just going crazy. Okay, so that's stamina. That's literally stamina. To show you guys how that works, we're going to go to my menu scene and delete one of the objects because I don't want you guys to see that um, yet. And we're just going to load up our game real quick and listen to my squeaky chair apparently. All right. And then loan. Uh, so jump. And our seven minutes out. So ideally at this point you wouldn't be able to jazz or double jazz, but I dash or jump or double jump, but I haven't finished navigating 
all of the transitions, so it doesn't all work perfectly. Um, so we have a basic stamina bar and it goes down when we use it. That's great, but what about regenerating stamina? Because in a lot of games, like every, well, mostly every game ever, you use your stamina, but it comes back because you have to earn your stamina back because then you can't do other things. Like maybe there's things, maybe you don't want it automatically regenerated. That's, it can be a thing too, but it's not like health where usually health doesn't automatically regenerate, usually it's stamina. So then we're gonna make a second object. It's gonna call, be called stamina regen. And I honestly should have just like deleted this and just redone it for you guys, but I didn't. Uh, so stamina regen, we're going to make it, I, the game crashed when I did not give it any, um, any picture. So when I said not selected, the game crashed when I still tried to use it when I didn't have one. So I just went um, with just uh, whatever, player and then bullet and then just something basic. And then actually once I got into it, I set the motion to don't set. So that means that it, it's just invisible. We don't actually want to see this. We don't actually want it to be there in um, here. We just want it to do what we need it to do. So now we're gonna go into stamina and what we want to do is it's runtime action. We want it to increase stamina plus one. That's pretty simple. Then that's not all we want it to do. We want it to continually do so. So I have it linking to the next one after two seconds pass, but you know what? Let's change it to one second passing this time it goes back to, again, regenerating um, one stamina. So these are the same, essentially the same, they're just looping back and forth to each other. So same thing, let's change this to one second. So after one second, you're gonna gain one uh, bar of stamina. But what if you have max stamina? Because if you have like zero stamina, then it doesn't really matter. You still want to include it. So I, you could have a limiter. So say if you have a zero stamina, that would be a thing that could happen. That could be, well, like you make your jumps not happen, which I'm still figuring out. But for a max, um, we don't have any runtime actions. So it's not actually doing anything, but we do have the links because those matter. I'm making so that the time passes is just uh, 0.5 a second, half of a second, because that's all that matters. But we want to go and um, set the condition, if your player stamina is equal to player max stamina, then you stop regenerating stamina. Because why would you keep regenerating stamina when your stamina is already at max stamina? That doesn't make sense. And that's just done on both sides. So if stamina is max stamina, just chill out in the max, but when it is no longer max stamina, which I can click this link right there, I should really move those around. Then if stamina does not equal max stamina, then we start regenerating stamina. So pretty simple, pretty cool. Let's go save again because just obsessively do this. Uh, then we go, it's going to be dragged and put on the screen, it's invisible, doesn't really matter where it is other than for yourself making sure it is where you want it to be. Also, it is one of the ones where you wanna make sure that the, um, well, that one plus regular stamina, you wanna make sure both of them are fixed relative position to camera. And also make sure all of its movement settings are at zero because when they're not, it can move, well, this one doesn't really matter. I didn't change it to zero, but we could do it to zero if we, So now it won't move on the screen. If those are set, then it will move and then they end up falling down. It's kind of funny. All right, but now we have stamina regeneration and stamina. We've already seen stamina. Now we're gonna play. Maybe crash. Okay. New game. What, okay. Don't know why it didn't come in right away, but I'll bug test that after. Um, yeah, okay. But you can see, we're still regenerating stamina and we're still using it. And we can just let it go up and fill up again. All 
I'm just kind of wondering. Yeah, I, I think it would work better if I shorten up the transition time between filling and not filling. But you can still see it's a stamina bar and it regenerates and it fills back up depending on if we use it. So I think our biggest inhibitor to why it kind of looks gross right now and doesn't seem to be responding very well is that the time between transition is not, uh, is like a little bit too long maybe. Maybe you don't want, maybe we want it instantaneous. That could be a thing as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So pretty simple stamina bar and uh, stamina regeneration. You just do those things that we just did together. I hope that makes a lot of sense. I am hoping, <laughs> ideally, what you would do to make it so that when your stamina is at zero is you would have a little bit more of a this thing that makes a little bit more sense. Like I said, I haven't been able to quite make 100% sense of it. And then when you go into jump, which is way over and forever, maybe it's return to, maybe I just have to do like everything. It's like jump weight, return to jump, all these things, jump charge, like I don't even know. Um, when you are doing anything else, you want to make sure that your, you have to have stamina. It has to be greater than zero for it to have stamina, otherwise it won't work. But I hope you guys can debug that and I'm gonna, that this is about as much as I'm done for tonight. So I hope that was helpful and I hope you guys um, are able to maybe use that in any of your games.